Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. If you can see me, give me one, give me one, give me one. If you can see me, please give me one, give me one, give me one. Give me one. If you can see me, if you can hear me clearly, please give me one, give me one, give me a one, give me a one. Right, let me welcome everyone that's on here. We've got, all right, Kami, how was, how on earth was Kami the first person to be on here? We just finished the private session. That's why we're a bit late. Kami, how did you get here before everyone? <laughs> how are you, Kami? Good to see you again. Logan, how are you, Logan? Last day as a pre reg Whoop, whoop. Wow. At least, uh, whoop, whoop. It looks like some of you did not get the link today. Well, some people did not get the link today. But um, they could always watch this video later on. Iman, how are you, Iman? How are you, Iman? I'm guessing all of you are doing the exam tomorrow, maybe. Mary, how are you, Mary? Hope you're doing well, Mary. Hope you're doing well. Pedro, how are you, Pedro? Welcome, everyone, to the motivational session. Today is going to be a great session. We're not going to be nervous. We're not going to be learning, answering questions. Today is about boosting your confidence. It's showing you the key things that you need to remember that you need to take with you tomorrow for the exam so that you can smash this exam. Helping you stay positive. You put in so much work. So this is your time. Rama, how are you? Rama says, I see you, Hardy. Special shout out there to Hardy. Special shout out to all of you. How many of you feel nervous? If you feel nervous, let me know. If you feel confident, let me know. Today is about taking you from being nervous to being confident. You have to be confident because this is the only state that we can walk into the exam. Ready to smudge that bomba exam is coming home. Yes, Omar Abbas has said it as it is. It is coming home. It is coming home. Positivity today. Today is all about positivity. We can do this. We shall do this. RHS in the house. Yes, Omar, we need the hype. Jemima Smallwood. Yes, Jemima, welcome to the session. Welcome to the session. Today is all about positivity. Positivity. Thursday, where Kate? Are you traveling out for it? Kate, are you doing it on Thursday? That's a question for you. Are you doing it for Thursday? Let us know. I'm good, Marvin. I'm going to get 100. Yes, Marvin's getting 100. Positivity. That's what we say. What you think and what you say to yourself becomes a reality. We are ready, man, like Jamie Bomba Platella. Yes, Jamie. Jamie is ready. We are ready. And that's the spirit, people. That's the spirit. We've done all the hard work. Kate Hadley, how are you, Kate? Are you ready, Kate? Let me know if you're ready. Rima, are you ready? Rima is on Thursday. Great stuff. And Rima is here today. Are you ready, Rima? I need to give everyone a shout out. If you need a shout out, let me give you a shout out right now. If I'm not giving a shout out, let me know. Let me know because this is our last session. Our last session. Ellie Faisley. How you doing, Hawk Lim Chung? How are you doing? Welcome to the webinar. Welcome to the webinar. Prince Akar, how you doing, Prince? How you doing, Prince? Mike Kirby in the house, man, like Mike Kirby. We will do so well tonight. We will do so well. You know, I've been chatting to everyone today. It's a positive day. I've been sitting down and I'm giving everyone shout out. And yesterday, my kids were asking me, Mom and Daddy, how, why don't you give us any shout out? Why don't you give us any shout out, Daddy? You're giving everyone a shout out. Why are you not giving a shout out? Well, I've got four lovely kids. Give me that. I've got four kids. Four kids. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Hard work. Three girls and my little boy. So I'm going to give them a shout out as well. Because they were like, you know, daddy, go give us a shout out as well. So shout out to Rania. Girl like Rania. Shout out to Safia. Shout out to Liana. And my boy like Adam. And to my lovely wife, Leila, shout out. All of them are rooting for you guys. They're like, you know what? We want to be part of the success family. And my whole family, Adam is saying good luck to you guys. Liana is saying good luck to all of you. Leila is saying good luck to all of you. Safia is saying good luck to all of you. And Rania is saying good luck to all of you. So good luck, everyone from my family to all of you. You will do so well, every single person. Yes, we will do it together. Girl like Rania, you know the score, Rania, you know the score. Yeah, like Safia, yeah, like Yana, and my, my bad boy, bad boy like Adam Rasplat in the house. Good luck to all of you guys. This is the energy we need. We will pass. We will pass. We will pass. It's coming home. The pass is coming home. Big up to the Moses from man like Jamie right there. 
Big up back to you. Shout out to Claire the body. Claire the body shout out. Where is Claire? Anissa, yeah, like Anissa, number one nerd in the house. Anissa, what you say, Anissa, what you say? Man like Logan, we will pass. Man like Logan. Rima says, thanks to you and your family, Marvin. Special shout out to all of them. They're all rooting for you. They've all been supporting me every single day. They say to me, Marvin, make sure that you do this webinar and you support those students. When are you going to do it? Make sure you do it. We're all supporting them. We're all rooting for them. So they've got your back as well. they got your back. So much love for you. So we can do it and we will do it. So tonight, just relax, guys. Don't stress. It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming home. Tell the world it's coming home. Tell the world it's coming home. It's coming home, kid Hadley. Gonna be there half an hour before. Might as well camp on the beach. <laughs> yes! Let's do this stuff. Let's do this stuff. So I've got some slides for you, and I'm gonna go through some important things that will help you smash that exam tomorrow. Anyone doing the exam that is not here today that's in the exam tomorrow is gonna miss out on some impressive stuff. So Olivia says, honestly, the kind of motivation I need right now. Yes, Olivia, you know the score. Olivia, you know the score. That's why we are here, to make sure that you put all this stuff together. This is the last huddle. Let us do it together, people. Let us do it. The success family is right here. We are going to walk in like a bus. So before we start, smash the like button. Smash that like button if you're ready to go. And I want you to type in bus. That means tomorrow... Wednesday, Thursday, whenever you do this exam, you will walk into that exam like a boss. Let's our boss, our boss word for today is boss because we're gonna boss this exam. Jamie Blood Platter Love from Riz. Yes, you know the score. Yes, you know the score. Sarah Hussein boss. Anisa boss bish. <laughs> Everyone is going to walk in like a boss. Rachel is ready to take this exam down like the boss. Mohammed is ready to take it out like the boss. We are going to boss this exam. Aisha is not messing around. Boss Lady Aisha is ready for this. Lucy Wood, Boss Lady Lucy Wood is ready to take the exam down. Boss Man Jamie Taylor, SPC Boss. You know the score, Logan. You know the score, SPC Boss. Yes, lots of bosses in the house. So let me give you guys some good tips for you that are going to help you to pass this exam tomorrow. Right, let me bring my slides up. Let me share this with you guys. Very, very important stuff. So today is what I call a freestyle session. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through tips with you. And then at the end, once I've finished the tips, we can just share any questions we have. And if you've done the exam before and you have any good tips for anyone for tomorrow, please share them, okay? But we're not gonna do any questions because we don't want anything that is gonna knock our confidence. Today is all about building your confidence. Man like Jazz Deep in the house. Jazz Deep in the house. It's going to be a great, great evening. So let's go to the tips for you people. Let's go to the tips. So tip number one for you. So um, this is what I want you guys to remember. Right. So tomorrow, whatever happens, make sure you are fit to sit the exam. Okay. Make sure you are fit to see the exam. What do I mean? If you're going to the exam tomorrow for any reason, if you don't feel well, if you feel like I'm so nervous, I cannot do this exam for any reason, my advice to you would be either to withdraw from that exam or to nullify that exam. So I was speaking to my private group earlier on and we're just giving the definition. Does, does, do you guys know the difference between withdrawal and nullification for your exam? Give me a yes if you do. Give me a no if you don't understand those terms. You can withdraw or you can nullify the exam tomorrow. That is the first important thing I want to say to you. Please do not do this exam if you don't feel right. Don't do the exam if you don't feel right. If anything happens tomorrow, you can leave the exam. So the two things. Withdrawing the exam simply means before you can... Get out that exam before you actually start the exam. So I'm getting loads of no's between withdrawal and notifications. And I'm going to clarify that for you tomorrow because some of you might need this tomorrow. We're hoping no one does and you all go in and you smash the exam, but you never know. Someone might wake up tomorrow morning and you might not feel well. So two things. Now, when you talk about withdrawing from the exam, before you actually sit that exam, when you, you have to sign a disclosure agreement, okay? Once you sign that agreement, that means you are 
right in the exam, there is no turning back. So they're going to give you that on your, on your station. And before you start, immediately before you start the exam, they're going to ask you to sign a disclosure. If at that point, when you come before you start the exam, you don't feel like taking this exam for any reason, then you can withdraw. So withdrawal is when you stop the exam before it's even started. You've not started it, you can withdraw from the exam tomorrow morning. A notification is when you've already started the exam. So say if you start the, the first paper, your calculations, and perhaps you feel sick during the exam, or you're not feeling well, or perhaps there's some technical issues, something that's affecting your performance, if there's anything that's gonna affect your performance, then you can notify, you can put your hand up to the administrator, you can say, I need to stop my exam for this and this reasons, I cannot continue. The advantage of doing that is because it is so, so difficult to appeal for anything at the end. The GPT is very, very strict when it comes to appealing, right? So it's better not to finish that exam if you're gonna stop the exam or to withdraw before you start it, then go through the whole exam in pain, and then when you fail, you try to then appeal for grounds of you are not fit during the exam. Don't do that. So if you don't feel ready tomorrow, you can withdraw from the exam or you can nullify the exam. And the good thing is if you do that, it's not gonna to count towards a failed attempt. So you still have that extra attempt, especially for some of you that are doing it for the last time, okay? So if this is your third attempt, you really need to think about this for yourself, okay? If you're doing it for the first time, then you know you got another chance and another chance. But if this is your final attempt, make sure that if you don't feel good for any reason, you withdraw from that exam or you nullify the exam so that you have more time to then maybe do it in November. But the plan is everyone is going to the exam. We're all going to feel good. We're going to be ready. And we are going to bust the exam. Give me a one. If you're going to bust the exam, give me a one. Give me a one. Give me a one. So the first good news is you don't have to sit the exam if you feel nervous tonight. If anything happens, you have the right to pull out even at the last minute. Okay? What we got notification is during, right? Withdraw is before starts. Correct. So notification is you stop doing the exam when you've already started. You can notify it. Why withdrawal is you don't even open that paper. You don't even look at one question and you withdraw. Pay all. How are you? Pay all. Ones. Yes, I want to see more ones because we're all going to start the exam. Sophia one. Rima one. Good stuff. So the first good thing that we have is that no one is going to force you to do the exam. It is entirely how you feel. Make sure that you feel fit for the exam. That's the first thing, okay? Save yourself. So Shaz asking, if you withdraw or nullify, both save the attempt. Exactly. So that is advantage, and that's what I'm showing you about withdrawing or nullifying, because if you do that, it saves the attempt. It gives you that extra chance. But if you don't do that, and you carry on the exam where you're not feeling well, and you finish that exam, and you submit that exam, and you fail that exam, then there's no way back. The GPH is not going to look into any appeal. Think about that. I know this because I get a lot of quests, uh, a lot of emails when, on exam day for many students that try to appeal for different reasons, things that happen on exam day. At that point, it's already too late. Okay, so next thing, um, very important. It looks minor, but very, very important. So uh, make sure that tomorrow um, you take the right things to the test center. So we mentioned this before, have your approved GPC calculator. Kami, get the right, take the right calculator. Take two calculators, please. Take two calculators. I think you only have one with you at the station but you could have another extra one in your bag, okay? You just have an extra one just in case, right? Two calculators. Remember your identification documents. Take those with you. Don't forget them. Valid passport or a European or UK driver's license. And then don't forget the mask. Don't forget the mask. I think we still don't know. I know that ma masks are not compulsory, but please take your mask with you because I don't know what um, the conditions are for person view. So we could look at these questions later on in the discussion. If anyone has spoken to a um, person view or anyone knows exactly what the recommendation is about wearing masks, but just make sure you have your mask just in case, okay? Just in case. Think about it. And yes, um, Kate has got as well, they will refund you as well. So if you nullify the attempt or you withdrew from the exam, the GPAC will refund you for the payment you've made towards the exam. So it's very important that you do the right thing so that you don't suffer later on. Okay, so um, also um, remember, keep yourself hydrated. Very important, you're hydrated throughout the exam. It's gonna help you with your brain, the functioning of your brain. You need to have the H2O. Um, remember that you could take a, uh, a drink, but you have to put in a clear bag. You have to have your name labeled on it as well. And I think that bottle is gonna be out on the table. It's not gonna be with you. And then whenever you need some water, then you can put your hand up and you can go drink some water. 
Also remember that any toilet breaks and any water breaks are all your time doesn't stop when you're going to do this thing. So do them quickly and get back. Don't go to the toilet and spend an hour there. All right, Kami, don't spend an hour tomorrow because the time is still rolling on, all right? So make sure that if you're going to go to the toilet, it's better for you to even go to the toilet, do everything you can before the exam so you're not interrupted during the exam. But if you stop for any comfy break or anything during the exam, remember that that's all part of the time of the exam running. So great stuff. Uh, make sure you take the right stuff with you. Um, the next thing, this is a very big one. So the good news, I just spoke to the students, my private group a few minutes ago, that um, one of the reasons why many students fail the exam, it's not because the exam is tough. And I've interviewed and spoken to so many students for the past four or five years, so many. And I do that even here, I, I do that in live sessions as well. I ask the students to write down um, why they failed the exam. So many students, first of all, the good news is, even those that fail the exam, fail by one or two or three or four marks, the very little marks, very fine margins, so most of the students will pass anyway. And most of the reasons why other people fail is because perhaps they were not well on the day. And that's why I'm showing you this is so important about nullifying the exam if you don't feel well. Some people are not well on the day, something happens, or perhaps they were going through um, something personal that affected the performance. But um, those are some of the reasons, right? Or perhaps you didn't read the question properly. But in terms of the difficulty of the exam itself, the exam is a lot easier than most of you think, okay? It's a lot easier. And I said this, I just asked this question in a private group, and I'm going to ask you guys again. I'm going to tell you to think about this. I want you to stand up for a second. You're not the pharmacist. And I said this, um, just imagine that you've got a friend that is um, doing law, right? And they're starting to become lawyers. And they've got this final year exam, okay, that all students, all law students have to take this exam. And your friend, this law student, tells you that this exam is so difficult, right? It's such a difficult exam. It's such an important exam. The whole country has to see this exam. Such a tough exam to pass. And then you ask the, your friend, oh, so um, what's normally the pass rate for this exam generally, this difficult exam? What, what's normally the pass rate? And, this, and your friend tells you, oh, yeah, um, every year in the summer in this exam since 2011, we've always had above 72%. So um, in March, we had 88% pass rate. Um, year before that, um, we had like 95% pass rate, we had 85% pass rate. Um, yes, um, the lowest pass rate we've had is about 72% pass rate in the last 10 years. How many of you are going to say to yourself, wow, this is such a difficult exam? Most of you are going to go, all oh, right, so it's, I don't think the exam is that bad like you say it is, right? Because if that amount of people are passing for the last 10 years in the summer with those sort of pass rates, then I don't think it's that bad. So that's what I'm trying to say to you. You need to be realistic. This exam is not that difficult like people say it is. You've got to be realistic, okay? Because if that was the case, we won't be seeing this extortionate pass rates, this high pass rates. So look at things as they are. More students pass this exam than fail the exam. But one of the challenges you may have is your time, okay? Time management is very important, right? What's Jemima? Jemima says, no meant to be allowed. No, not meant to be allowed. But apparently some test center bring in I don't know what that was regarding, but maybe that's regarding what I'm sure. But we'll definitely go through all your questions, all the tips, any questions people have about the test center, any question about tomorrow, we're going to answer those questions for you. Does anyone who has sat the exam before know what the timing was like? Any tips on saving time in the exam? Be better to leave resource questions to the end. Exactly. We're going to answer all those questions in a few seconds. So that's what this session is about. It's giving you all those tips from people that have done the exam and to help you tomorrow. So make sure that tomorrow, let me make this a bit bigger. Make sure that whatever happens tomorrow, whatever happens tomorrow, you keep an eye on your time, all right? There's going to be a time. Uh, make sure you arrive at the test center. I'll say 30 minutes to an hour early. I know many centers say they probably open like 15 minutes before the exam, but make sure that you get there at least 30 minutes to an hour so that at least you can register, you feel relaxed, and you could take into consideration there may be some traffic and different unforeseen circumstances. So leave your house early, get there at least 30 minutes an hour early. Plan your journey, leave early, and get there on time. Tomorrow, your buzzword will be time. Think about time all the time. Think about time all the time. Many of you, the only reason why you could um, not do so well in this exam, I know all of you are going to pass, may be because of time. Okay? So make sure you plan your time. And after this, we're going to look at some tips that are going to help you in how to maximize your time tomorrow. But generally, um, you're going to have um, the start time. You're going to have your time on, um, in your station, on the screen. So you're going to have the time as well. So the moment you start that exam, keep an eye on the time. Because time goes so fast. 
time goes so fast when you're in the zone. Right? How many of you, like, you remember time, how many of you watched like a good movie, right? The movie's been so good, your eyes have been glued on the screen, and it's been like two and a half hours, and you didn't even realize. You're like, gosh, I thought I was only here for about five minutes. How many of you had that experience? If you had that experience, give me a one, give me a one, give me a one. If you watched a movie or something, it's been about two hours, but it was so good, you're so, so in the zone, you didn't even realize you've been sitting down there for like two hours. That is the same experience you will get tomorrow in the exam. Those hours go so quick because you're so focused, you're in the zone. So make sure you don't lose track of time. Always keep your eye on time. The time will go fast. Okay, keep an eye on the time. So very important, guys. Time is of the essence. Time is the thing that makes students fail. Not the difficulty of the questions, but time. All right, so um, keep an eye on the time and um, make sure that you get there early, you get there on time, and you plan your journey. Um, the next thing is you need to know what's allowed on your workstation. So um, I know Person View has got a comfort aid list. Um, look at the list on the website, but I'm looking at people that may um, be on certain medications. Perhaps you're on some cough tablets or some blood pressure tablets, or you're on some insulin, diabetic tab uh, medication. You're allowed to have those with you at the station. So please just go through if you're thinking of taking anything to the station with you, apart from the notepad they give you and your calculators. If you're thinking of anything else that you need, even your glasses and everything, find, um, check on the things that are allowed. Um, just look at this, the website and um, look at your aid list, your comfort aid list. There are quite a few things that you're allowed to have. But um, generally, if there are no medications and things like that, then um, a notepad will be given to you and also the pen will be given to you for your calculations or any extra notes. So make sure that um, you have the right things with you at the station. Next one, which is so important because this can literally make you fail an exam. And this is the part where you need to exercise your power of nullification. This is the part where if this happens to you tomorrow, if there's any technical issues, because things happen, don't they? Right, with technology, you never know what can happen, all right? So but if you have any problems with the technology, with, um, your, your system, if there's anything that is not right that is affecting you and you think, wow, this is affecting my performance, don't try to sit through the exam. Simply raise your hand, get a test administrator, and then tell them about it. And if you feel like you don't want to do the exam because this is really affecting your performance, then you have the right to nullify that exam. Don't forget to get a case reference for that. Get a case reference and leave, all right? In that case, it's not going to be counted as a fail. You're going to have your money back, and the GPC will give you that extra chance to sit the exam again. So by don't struggle, don't go through any technical issues, and then continue the exam to the end, because once you've done that exam, you cannot come back and complain about the technology. Okay, so make sure that tomorrow, any technical issues, raise your hand up, get the test administrator, and if it takes long, or if you think that has put you off, and has affected your performance already, nullify the exam. Okay, it's better for you to do that. So, exam tips. Let me give some tips for the questions before we go through all your other questions. Um, some people mentioned this already. Every question carries the same mark, right? It doesn't matter. Whether you try to do a difficult question that takes five minutes, or you do the easy question that takes 30 seconds, they all carry one mark each, right? So you don't get any bonus for spending, for smashing the most difficult question in the exam. So make sure that you start easy questions first. Just go through, scroll through. Don't go through your questions chronologically. Don't say, I need to finish one first before I get to two, and then I need to do three. And if I don't do that, then I wouldn't move to four. Because many students have done that in the past, have run out of time, and they failed the exam. So just make sure that once you go to them, it's all about time. Go through your questions. Go through the easy ones first. Get the easy ones out. What that does for you as well, when you get the easy questions out, it makes you feel motivated because there's a voice in your head saying, wow, I'm doing this. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. And when you keep saying that to yourself, when you get to the difficult questions, guess what? You're in the right state to smash them. But if you do it chronologically and I must finish one before I move to two and I'm not going to move to three until I finish two, then what happens is your brain starts playing with you and you start thinking this is tough and I'm struggling and I'm running out of time. So when you get to the easy questions, you're not even in the right state and so you won't even be able to answer those easy questions that you know very well. So your technique in the exam tomorrow is so important. Go through the easy questions first. But remember, do it your own way, okay? Everyone has their method. Everyone has the way that they like doing things. You have your own preferred way, but this is generally tips that students that have passed exam have given, okay? Easy questions first. 
SPC questions lead them to last. The reason why people say that is simply because the SPC questions take more time. So at least get all your easy questions out before you start spending time on the longer ones. This is an exam of fine margins, people. Fine margins. You can fill this exam by one mark, right? Just by one mark, just by two marks. So every mark is crucial. So that's why you don't want to spend too much time on a question that is taking long. Easy stuff, and they can come back to the difficult ones at the end. Um, another tip is read the question twice, at least. Many people fail because they don't read the questions properly, not because the questions are tough. So make sure you read those questions twice. The GPS is going to ask you little things, which is the least likely or which is the most likely. Be careful with such questions. The, the only way you can find those is obviously reading it twice before you answer the question. So my general rule for you is to more say rule to yourself that whatever happens, I'm going to read each question twice. Even if you feel like, oh, I know that question, just read it twice, the next one. Also time yourself. Generally, we say three minutes for calculations and one minute for clinical questions. Obviously, there are some questions that will require more than three minutes, while there are some questions that will require more than one minute. But the reason why we say that is just to give you a guide when you're looking at that time. If there's any question that you're trying to do a calculation and you're taking more than three minutes, then stop the question. Leave the question, go to the next question, right? Don't spend more than three minutes on one question. If that's taking three minutes, go to the next one and you will come back to those ones later. But get all your easy questions out. Because the worst thing that can happen to you tomorrow is you run out of time. Or you do all these questions, the difficult ones, you're taking time, and then you run out of time and you realize that the last five questions were such easy questions that you could do in 30 seconds. You don't want that to happen to you. So you want to make sure that you go through all your questions, get all the easy ones first, and then anyone that's taking longer than three minutes, leave it till the end. Read this question twice I mentioned, and finally, check your answers before you submit them. Before your final submission, check all those answers. Plan your time properly so that at the end you can look at them because sometimes you might find certain things that you got wrong just because you're in a rush or because you're nervous. So look at the questions at the end, look at your answers at the end, and then submit those answers. And you're going to do so well. Let me see some of your comments. Um, yes, let's see what we have. So these are very important points, guys. They're very simple points, but these are the reasons why people fail the exam. I see many students get more worried about the difficulty of the exam. More people are concerned about Oh, they're going to give me something I've not covered. Oh, I've not, I've not read on cytotoxics, and I feel that majority of the questions will be on cytotoxics. Oh, I've not really looked at the low-weighting chapters, and I, I, I just have this feeling that all the questions will be on low-weighting chapters. No. The reason why people fail is because of time. They run out of time. They don't have the right technique. They're nervous. Okay, so try to focus on those things right now so that they don't stop you tomorrow. And I know you all do well. Fed was asking how long is the clinical paper. I think that's two and a half hours, right? So um, please remember these tips. They're very powerful and they will make a difference for you tomorrow. You're all, you all have what it takes. You're all so smart. You're very intelligent. You've come this far. You've been put forward for this exam because you can pass the exam. So I know you will do so well, okay? Believe in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. So um, I've got 2.5 hours, 2.5 hours, 3 hours. I'm not too sure. It's only 2.5 hours, but I think there are some people that have extra time. So say, for example, if you're dyslexic, I'm sure you get extra time, perhaps extra 30 minutes. So some, I think majority of people is 12 hours and a half, but some people might have maybe 3 hours. Okay? So I'm going to go through this, and then once I go through these slides very quickly, and then I'll start going through all your questions, and then we could answer all these questions together that you have, share all of this together, give each other tips, and then we'll walk in there and smash the exam like our boss. So, more of your exam tips, more of your exam tips. Stay in your zone, right? This is a big one. So if there's one thing I'm gonna tell you now is between tonight, and I said this to my private group a few minutes ago, the biggest thing I'm gonna tell you is that tonight is the night, between tonight and tomorrow, where you have to keep saying positive things to yourself. Like there is no room whatsoever for negativity, people. Not tonight, not tomorrow. No room for negativity. There'll be two voices in your head that will be playing tonight and tomorrow morning. And I'm telling you right now, right now I'm experienced, I've been there, I've done that. You're gonna have two voices in your head. One voice will be saying, you're gonna pass, you're fine. And another voice will be saying, oops, you've not read this. Oh, the questions will be tough. You're gonna have two voices going on now. Your ability to pass the exam will be based on your ability to shut, that, shut down the second negative voice between tonight and tomorrow morning when you do your exam. 
so or Thursday or Wednesday. So you need to shut that voice down, right? How do you shut the voice down? Anytime it comes to your mind, anything that comes to mind that says, I've not covered this, I'm not good enough, I'm going to fail, all you have to say to yourself is shut it down. Don't entertain it. Just say to yourself, I've done my best, I'm going to pass. Others have passed, I'm going to pass it too. Since 2011, this exam that always had above 72%, I'm going to be one of them. I'm going to pass. I passed my university exams. I went through all of this stuff. My pre has put me through, so I'm going to pass. And even if I fail one question or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or 10 or 11 or 12 or 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, I'll still pass clinical because I could fill up to about 30, 34 questions in clinical and still pass. The same with calculations. Doesn't matter. Even if I fill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I will still pass calculations. So that's you need to shut that voice down that tells you if you if you fill one question, that means you're going to fill the exam. Shut that down tomorrow and tonight. Right? Do not learn anything between now and tomorrow morning. That's my advice to you. Do what you please, what best suits you. If you feel that learning the stuff is going to make you less nervous, then that's entirely up to you. But my advice to you is you're better spending more time now just perfecting things that you already know. So just, just flashcards and just you know, looking at what you already know is even better not to even look at stuff. But don't try to start learning new stuff tonight or tomorrow morning because it's just going to ruin your confidence and it's going to ruin your state. You want to be in a positive state. And the only way you can be in a positive state is, number one, keep saying positive things to yourself. And number two, only focus on things that make you feel good, make you feel confident, that make you feel I am good enough. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to say to yourself. Get some good sleep so that you can work perfectly. You can function well tomorrow. Listen to motivational stuff. Listen to some good music, some gentle music. If you're spiritual, say your prayers, incantations, anything you need that gives you that positive feeling, use anything you want, right? If you want to pray to the sun or if you like jumping out on your fence and screaming and that helps you, whatever you do to make you feel good and positive, do that stuff between today and tomorrow because this is what's going to help you, all right? No, not reading the last minute and trying to cram the last minute, that's not going to help you. What's going to help you are all the positive things that normally help you to get through any exam. So um, listen to my videos if you want. I've got some things on motivation on there. Listen to motivational stuff. So I'm going to round this up before going to your questions with these five reasons that I gave you guys last time. Because personally, I think these are the most powerful reasons that are going to help you tomorrow to pass this exam. You've got to take them so seriously and you've got to say these things from tonight all the way to tomorrow morning. The first thing you need to say to yourself is more students pass this exam than fail this exam. More students pass this exam than fail this exam. More students always pass this exam in the summer than fail this exam. More students always pass this exam than fail this exam. I'm going to pass too. All right, next thing. You've been doing a lot of mocks. You've been doing um, on track. These things, I always say this to you because when I was doing my exam as well, there were some times when I would do some on track questions and I would feel like, yeah! I'm ready for this exam. I'm going to pass the exam. Bring it on. And then I decided to do the second paper the next day. And I literally failed. I'm like, I'm not ready. I'm going to withdraw from this exam. You literally become a psycho, right? You become paranoid. You, you go bipolar. You'll be up and down, right? That's what happens. Even people, even pharmacists that pass the exam, most of them that pass the exam, if you give them another paper, they might still fail. There's no one that walks to that exam that's going to pass every month. Well, unless you're Anissa, maybe, but <laughs> but generally, right? Generally, most people will not pass every mark. Even myself, there's some marks that I'll do, but you know, pass them. And the others that you can give me right now, I'm going to fail. So don't try to look for perfection. Just remember that most of these papers are harder than the actual exam itself. But you have the stats to back you up. Men lie, women lie, pre-reg numbers don't lie, right? So don't don't let anything deceive you. The actual exam. Most of the time, the questions are more straightforward and easier than what you see at the mocks, right? The mocks are there to make them difficult for you. They're there to test you. They're there to give you the most difficult things because it's the belief that if you can smash something that is tough, then you can smash whatever is easy, right? But the GPS is not there to do that. It's just there to give you things that are realistic. That's why since 2011, you've had such a huge pass rate. So reason number three, remember that GPS is not there to trap you. Don't think they're trying to trap you. So those people that say to themselves, oh, my God, I think they're going to ask all the questions on cytotoxins. 
I think they're going to ask all these difficult questions. They're going to give us questions and things that are not even in the BNF. They don't do that. Because if they did that, you wouldn't get, get all these things passing. I'm not talking about passing just once. I'm talking about passing for the last 10 years. And even in March, a few months ago, we had 88%. And those that failed did not fail because the exam was tough was for different reasons. So you will pass too. Number four, this is the golden rule for me, right? This is the one that tomorrow, guys, if there's one thing you need to take with you is this reason. This is so powerful. This reason literally is what's going to help you. It's what's going to keep you positive, even if you're getting questions wrong in the exam. This is what's going to make you pass, is this belief, believing that, listen, I have an allowance to fill. The GPHC sometimes reduces the pass marks. So even though we talk about 70% pass rate all the time, most of the time they bring that down. Most exams, they bring it down to 68 to 65, right? In March, they brought it down to 64 calculations. So what I'm trying to say to you is that there are forces out there that are trying to help you pass. Right? The forces are taking things into consideration and trying to make sure they don't give an exam that is too tough, but try to make it realistic. And if they feel that it is too tough, then they will bring that pass mark down. But you can fill up to 14 questions that way you could do in March and still pass. And you could fill up 34 questions in clinical and still pass. It's normally around that range, 30 to 34, 14 to 16 for calculations. So please remember this point tomorrow. So that when you walk into exam, you're not going for perfection, you're going for a pass. And passing means you don't have to get everything correct. Perfection is I need to get everything correct. A pass, you don't have to get everything correct to pass. So it doesn't matter if you fill one calculation or you fill two or you fill three or you fill four or you fill five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, you will still pass. It doesn't matter how many clean card questions you fill, as long as it's less than 34, less than 30, you will still pass. So don't worry, people. That's why more students pass this exam than fail, because the exam has been set with more chances of you passing than failing, okay? And finally, final reason is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I believe in you. I'm giving my energy every single day for you. I'm doing the sessions every single day. We've been doing this the whole year with you guys in the Telegram group. All my videos, you've seen them in every single session I've done with Clinical. Every single session, I'm bringing in the energy. I'm going for it. I've never dropped. I've never come in one day going, oh, I feel down today. It's always been 100%, 100%, 100%. And the reason why I do that is because I believe in you. It's because I care about you and I know how much this exam means to you. And as far as I'm alive and I'm still here, I'm going to continue to give 100% to you until I see you pass. My mission is to make you a pharmacist and for you to enjoy the process. Okay, I want you to be a pharmacist, but I want you to enjoy your journey. So those are the reasons. Remember this stuff, guys. Stay positive. We're going to go through the questions now that are coming up. If you have any questions, let's look at all your questions. So if you're still here, give me a one, give me a one, give me a one. If you're still alive, give me a one, give me a one, give me a one. Good luck in your exams, guys. Good luck in your exams. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. Let us turn the heat up. <laughs> Lots of ones are coming. Let's turn the heat up. Let's... That's not the end of the session, by the way. I don't want you guys to disappear. Don't disappear. That's just 30 seconds of music, of partying, of buzzing for a little bit. Right, do you know I like this music, people? I want you to remember this music all the time. Because this music, how many of you, when you hear this music, you feel a bit motivated? Let's be honest. How many of you, when you hear that countdown, you feel a bit motivated? You feel like, let's go. How many of you feel that way? That's why I put this stuff on. Because I want you to remember, let's go. That's what that music is about. So we're going to go another 30 seconds. We're going to go another 30 seconds. And this time, when you hear this countdown, I want you to say something to yourself. Say, let's go. I will pass, right? This is your 30 seconds of success right here. Believe in yourself. Let's go together. 30 seconds. 
Once this comes up, I want you to say to yourself, I will pass. Let Fantastic people, great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. So let's answer any of the questions you have. Let's answer any of the questions. We will pass, we will pass, right? So I think some people heard the music and thought that's the end, that's not the end. So now we're gonna um, look at any questions you have. Let's just get the positivity going. Guys, I'm so, so, so happy I found previous shortcut for Man Like Logan. Man Like Logan, good luck to everyone from Shaz. Believe in yourself. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck to all of you. Good luck from everybody. Anissa says, Marvin, you're too good. You are too good as well, Anissa. All of you are amazing. You're lovely. Has anyone got any questions, any tips that they want from anybody? I am so hyped. Reese is hyped. Stay positive, stay positive. Avoid the Telegram group questions, I say to you guys tonight. Tonight is a night where you're permitted not to be on the Telegram group. You don't want any more questions. If you go on the Telegram group tonight, then I have to tell everyone, don't post any questions on Telegram group tonight. Tonight should be a relaxation. However, there are some people that are still doing this exam on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so they might want some questions. If you're doing the exam tomorrow, stay away from the Telegram group. Payal says, we got this. We got this, Payal. We got this. You guys are amazing. You will pass. Mela Curves Fitness, I will pass. You will pass. This is what I like to hear. This is what I like to hear. Believe in yourself. Top drugs. Top 100 drugs right in the bin. Chuck it in the bin. Chuck everything in the bin right now. Now let's get positive. Celine is excited. That's what I like to hear. Yes. We are not nervous. We are excited. We are going to walk into that exam like the boss. We will walk in like the boss. Let's go. Let's go. Rosie Aiton says, you really boosted my confidence. We can do this. Yes, Rosie. I believe in you. You can do it. And all of you will do it. Paya says, burn all the notes. Yes, there's no turning back. Believe in yourself, you're not going to come back to those notes. Burn them. Burn them. It's a one-way street. It's a one-way street. Man like Jamie, bump back, clap, Taylor. BNF already down the toilet. Yes, Jamie, you know that. Chuck it away. No looking back. Leuk. Leuk is ready for this. Leuk. Yes, yes, yes. Leuk is ready for the exam. You know the score. Mazzalini, man like Mazzalini, make a prayer and keep it stepping, keep it stepping. That's the spirit. Failure isn't an option. Oh, I love this. Failure isn't an option. Burn the books. You're not going back, right? That is success. You only go one way and that's it. There is no other alternative. If people have done it, you can do it too. Why can't you do it when you've done the same thing? You've passed the same exam like them. You've gone through your pre-reg tutor. You've gone through all those standards of performance. You smashed everything like they did. So why won't you pass? You will pass. All positivity, guys. Daniel, man like Daniel. Where is Uma? Yes, where's Uma to throw everything? Uma is not here, so I'm going to throw. You don't need this. <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need this. Man like Uma, you don't need this paper. You don't need this. You don't need that. <laughs> all you need is positivity. I will do it. I will pass. I will pass. Pedro, we can do this. We got this. That is the spirit. We got this. And Morgan, I'm taking my BNF to the museum. That's it. And put it in the museum. You don't need that stuff anymore. Man like Logan. Logan. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys as well so much. I must admit, I'm going to miss you guys. How many of you are going to miss this session? If you're going to miss this session, just type down, I'm going to miss this session. Just write something. If you're going to miss this session, if you're going to miss this banter, if you're going to miss this phone, just type it down. Daniel, do I want to take juice tomorrow? Can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> they say water, but I'm sure you can have juice in there. No one's going to worry too much about your juice with you. Just make sure it's juice that keeps you concentrated. I don't know what juice you're talking about, Daniel. I don't know what juice. I'm assuming it's a good juice. So you can take that in, yes. Yes, I'm crying. Yes, people, I'm going to miss a session. Oh, man, Miss Bug up, big up G, my G, big up. Gonna miss you guys too. But I know you guys are gonna smash it. We still got the disco, that's why pre-record cuts. We're gonna have a massive disco. We're gonna be planning a disco. 
somewhere in the Midlands. So we all get together and we party like the boss. We smash the exam like the boss and we party like the boss. Moses said, I'll miss you, I'll miss you too, but we're going to have the party pre-reg for live. Pre-reg short cuts for live. Did someone say disco? Hell yeah, there is going to be a disco. Hell yes, there is going to be a disco. We work hard and we play hard. Katie says, my just tune into the sessions in the future. Of course, I can. Of course, you're all welcome. You're all welcome to tune the session. Support all the students. Come back and give them tips because I know you all pass. So once you pass, come back here and help us out. Help you with short course. We'll always be happy to have you and give the students tips that can help them. Always together. Once you're the family, you're always a previous shortcuts family. That's why you stay in that previous group for life. We're always together. I'm gonna miss the session. Yes, we're all gonna miss you, but we're all together. Man, like Team Sin Team, Team Sin Team. Anyone got any question? Anything about the exam day tomorrow that you want to know? Any tip or anything? Ask and wish we are here to help you. Mohammed MC, Mohammed Zainuddin. Don't worry too much about SPC, guys. Last March, the SPCs were short and there were not too many of them. Listen to man like Muhammad, positivity for you guys, okay? Positivity for you guys. Think positive. You know, there's a famous say that whatever you think becomes your reality. Like if you think you're good enough, you will be good enough. The same way, if you think the exam will be so difficult, the most difficult exam in the, in the world, it will be exactly what you think. If you think, no, this is going to be fine. I'm going to pass it. It's going to be easy. I'm going to smash it. That's exactly what's going to happen. Positive things to yourself. I think so long as it's a clear bottle with no labels, that's fine. You could have your juice in there. You could have your juice in that bottle. <laughs> Do we need to be too familiar with SPC layout? I don't want to answer that question now because I don't want anyone to get worried if they're not familiarize themselves with the SPC layout. But yes, you should at least know your SPC layouts. Don't memorize SPCs. It's just not about the layout because they're all the same for each layout. It's all about speed of finding information rather than knowing that information itself. The exam is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know that, Shaz. You know that you are manifesting easy stuff in your life. And that's what you're going to get. That is what you're going to get. That is what you're going to get. Are we allowed to use the search tool for SPCs? Can someone answer that question? As far as I know, I think you are. Anyone who's on the exam, are we allowed to use the search tool for SPC? Can someone answer? And Morgan's question. And then we have another question. Will the sheets be enough? Will the sheets they give you be enough? As far as I know, you can ask for more, can't you? I think there'll be enough, but I think from what I hear, you can ask for more sheets if you want more. So can someone answer that question that's done the exam, whether the sheets are enough? If you don't know it yet, they have control plus F in the exam. So what is control plus F? You can control F. So what does that mean? What is control F? Is that with the SPC question? So if you could answer that, whoever's written that, answer that clearly so that whoever asks the question knows. More business asks this question, is one non-wipeable part enough for 40 cocks questions? So these are very important questions. Some of you have done the exam. Was it enough? Was it enough? Was it enough? Logan's asked the question, imagine clicking CTRL plus F and your exam submit. <laughs> um, as far as I know as well, you shouldn't be too worried about that exam just submitting. Apparently, I think if you submit early or something, it could still be adjusted. The only thing is if you don't submit, then it will happen automatically at the end. But I think you have the systems in place to prevent you from maybe submitting and like, oh gosh, I didn't want to submit. The main thing is if you don't submit at the end, it will automatically happen for you. Man like Jamie, what's Jamie saying? Pretty sure we can ask for more whenever. Yes, that's correct. So you can ask for more paper as far as I know. And I think I've read that somewhere as well. I'd cry if submitted after this. No, 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 don't. Guys, don't get worried about this. Don't get nervous. The system is in place. It's fine for you. Don't worry about that. These are things that students will have concerns about. But that's not the case because that's the case you get a lot of this happening. But the invigilators and everyone are aware of this. So don't be worried even if you submitted. I don't think all of it is just going to stop me and that's the end. Um, everything is in place there for you. And if that happens, up, put your hand up to that administrator and they will sort it out straight away. So don't be worried about that. How was the marker? 
Someone's asking, how was the marker? When you talk about the marker, are you talking about the administrator that is there with you? Is that what you mean? So anyone done an exam could tell how, from what I hear, they were quite helpful. Most people that have spoken to them and had them, apparently they were quite helpful. So I'm hoping that'll be the case for you. Do you get paper for clinical paper? I'm sure, you, I, I think you get paper for everything. I think you have papers if you want to use them for all the papers, it should be fine. They wouldn't mind giving you papers because that's not a problem for them. Anything to help you to do well in your exam. Some people might need more papers than others, so I don't see that being a problem at all. At all. Okay, let me see. Anyone's got a question there that hasn't been answered that really wants that question to be answered? Let me know and I'll put it up for you. Even any vague tips can give from yesterday. Yes, easy peasy lemon sweets. I love that one. I put that up before. So great, people. Great, great, great. Great stuff. Omar Abbas. Omar Abbas is asking a question. Give us more confidence boosting mantras, please. Of course, I've got loads and loads for you. Loads and loads for you. Anissa says, Marvin, please keep us in prayers. I'll always have you guys in prayers. Remember, your success is my success. Right? Pre-Rest Shortcuts is one of the only companies that I know of. Perhaps the only one I don't know about other companies. I cannot say it about other companies. But what I know is we are one of those companies that say to you, listen, if you fill this exam, we will give you your money back. One of the reasons why we do that is because we want you to know that we want you to pass that much that we don't celebrate if you don't pass. Right? So if you don't pass, we don't pass. So for us, if you don't pass, there is it's so unfair for us to take your money, pay for a course, and then you don't pass. If that happens, take it back because we are family, all right? We are family. We don't just say we are family. When I go, man, like Jamie Taylor, when I go, Anissa, when I say, like, whoa, come me. That's my bro, Tim Longin. When I say all this stuff, I'm serious. That's why we're together because it's that togetherness that has got us to where we are. And there's so many students that before they joined Pre Shop because they were lost, okay? They felt on their own. They had no support. They had nobody. But the moment they joined the family, once they joined the family, we got together and we smashed the exam together. One, and that's why when you join the Telegram group, you are there for life. Because guess what? We are family for life. All right? Mantras for you tomorrow. Mantras for you tomorrow, people. Mantras for you tomorrow. A big mantra I'm going to give you. You are good enough. Okay? So the only thing that makes us lose confidence in life generally it's one sentence that we say to ourselves. And this can come in different ways. You can say them different ways, but it all comes down to the same thing. I'm not good enough. So right now, if you feel any fear that you have, if you feel nervous for tomorrow, it comes down to the same thing. You're saying to yourself, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And so what happens if you're not good enough? I'm going to fail. So it starts by saying, I'm not good enough. And then what will happen if you're not good enough? I'm going to fail. So in order to stop things from getting that far, you have to say, start saying something to yourself every single moment from now to the exam. And this is the magic phrase for you. I'm, I'm going to type it down. I am good enough. I am good enough. This is what you have to say to yourself. You have to believe it. Say to yourself, a belief is not right or wrong, right? Whether you believe something or not, you are correct. If you believe you're going to fail, you are correct. You're going to fail. If you believe you're going to pass, you are correct. You're going to pass. So the beliefs don't matter, right? So choose the beliefs that are going to work for you. And the belief that's going to work for you right now is the belief that I am good enough. And when you believe that, you're going to go in there and you're going to do well. So take that from me, people, tomorrow. When that second voice comes to you and says, oh, I'm, you're not good enough or you're not ready, just say to that voice, I am good enough. And so what if I don't know one question? And so what if I don't know two questions? And so what if I don't know three questions? And so what if I don't know four questions? And so what if I don't know five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Guess what? I am good enough to still pass. Right? I am good enough to still stop. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one more motivation music just to pump you up a little bit. And then we'll continue. 30 seconds of action. 30 seconds. Hang on there. 30 seconds.
And so we're back, we're back again. Beat up my face, show beat up energy going through your veins. Someone asking the question, Carrie Shepherd asking, how can we join if we're seeing the exam in November? Period shortcuts. Always, always looks up for all students, whether you're doing it in March, in the, in the summer, in November, in the winter. One of the things, right, when we're doing this with Uma, I remember I'm saying this because one of the things that I felt from my experience was that most of the time, it's a lot of training, it's a lot of support for students doing the exam in the summer. And so, so much going on. And then once the exam pitches in the summer, everyone disappears. And there's never enough support for those doing it in November. It's like you're on your own, right? You're on your own. So good news for you is we'll never leave you on your own. So Karisha, if you're doing it in November, you can still join our automated course. And that automated course will add you to our Telegram group. And then you have all of these resources and everything. So if you're doing it in November, we still have a lot of resources. You have all the resources that everyone has got right now. You have access to that as well. And you have support in the Telegram group. And you'll feel the buzz. And you have every single thing so that nobody is left out. All you have to do is go to the website, Pre-Rest Shortcuts. pre Shortcuts.com. And you could enroll on the course. And you get everything automated. And you'll be part of the Telegram group. These people could tell you all about it. But join there. And it is never too late. Yes, people. Fatima says, can't believe I just found out about pre rest Shortcuts. Oh, no. But don't worry, Fatima. Better now than never all right so you still found out about us we've been here we're always here and let the others know about us and we appreciate that great stuff people great stuff any questions any questions we say it's gonna tell my grandkids about your website <laughs> my life is gonna tell your grandkids that is a boss sentence right there. that is a boston man big up to you Reese, for saying that Tell the grandkids, you know the score, you know the score. So good luck. I think I'm going to let you guys um, obviously um, try to get some early sleep. Um, those of you doing the exam tomorrow, I wish you guys all the best. Big up to all of you. Thank you all for being such an amazing bunch. I've enjoyed every second with you guys. I'm going to miss you. Logan says, the moment I heard that, I knew Marvin wasn't all about the money. Man like Logan. I remember when Logan joined. You know, Logan sent me a message, right, Logan? Logan sent me a message. I want to join the course. You know, I think he just flew from, he flew from Zimbabwe or so. I can't remember Logan. And Logan said, I really want to get on here. And I said to him, I said, listen, Logan, I got you. I got you. Join the course. I bet you won't regret it. And since then, Logan has been my boy. <laughs> Logan, I've been rolling. <laughs> We've been rolling, Logan. Ah, uh, so great. So, so great. So thank you, guys. I've enjoyed every second. Thank you for making this a joyous experience. I hope that I've helped to make you enjoy your revision and have helped to boost your confidence and make you think positive about yourself so that you can take this good advice from you in the exam tomorrow and you can smash the exam. So much love to all of you. Jemima Smallwood, lots of hearts. Love hearts back to you, Jemima. Thank you so much. Merci, Charles. Merci. Enchanté. Merci, Monsieur. Merci. Daniel, I'm going to miss you. Anissa, yeah, like Anissa, I'm going to miss you. What can I say? What can I say? Man like Jamie Rascal for Black Latte. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. What can I say? But much love to all of you. I know you all do so well. Thank you so much for being amazing. Thank you. You're going to be a lovely pharmacist. I cannot live without even giving a shout out to Yeah Like Kate. Yeah Like Kate from Liverpool. Much love to Kate. Kate, what you say, Kate? What you say, la? What's happening, la? <laughs> the mercy, la? Pay out. What do I say about pay out? Pay out. You're amazing. Pay out. Remember what I said to you, Payal. Remember our one-to-one -one discussions, Payal. Remember all the advice I've given you. Remember my words, Payal. You will smash this exam. You will do it. Olivia, I've not joined the course, but whenever I can recommend pre reg I will. Thank you, Olivia. There's no more we can ask for. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much, Olivia. Thank you so much. Peace and love from Reese. And Morgan says, good luck for tomorrow, everyone seating. Good luck. Positive vibes, people. Positive vibes. Thank you so much, Marvin. All the content I've been here for has been so helpful. Even though I miss joining the actual course, that's no problem. That's what we do. Our students, we give them all this information. But even if you're not on the course, you, we still give you a lot of love. We'll still support you. We'll still help you pass. It doesn't matter. Of course, we care about everyone and we care about you too. So great stuff. All of you, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to be taking November. Simran is be taking the exam in November. Simran, always here to help you. We're always going to support you. 
If you're interested, let us know. We're always here for you, Simran, and you too will smash the exam. The videos, our YouTube channel is free. You can watch all the videos. You can go through all the questions, all there for you. Use this to stay positive, okay? Thank you, Rosie. Right, just for the positive mindset. Let's have one more track for 30 seconds, then I will say bye to you guys, and I wish you the final good luck. Let's just have one track. I want you to say to yourself, I will pass. For the next 30 seconds, just type on there, I will pass. Type, I will pass. I will pass. Let's get the music while you're typing. I will. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much. I will pass lots of, I will pass a copy of, you will pass, Jamie, you will pass, Reese, you will pass, you will pass, all of you will pass, Shaz, you will pass, Jemima, you will pass, everyone's going to pass, Federal, you will pass, I promise you, AB, you will pass, Seven Time, you will pass, AJ, I've passed already, I love that, I've passed already, you've passed already, Rima, you've passed already, Bima, Everyone will pass this exam and love from you. Good luck again for my family. Good luck from Leila to you. Good luck from Safia. Good luck from Rihanna. Good luck from Rania. Good luck from my boy, man like Adam. And most importantly, good luck from Premier Shotcuts. Thank you for being amazing. Good luck and I'll see you guys on the other side. I am out. Man like Marvin is out.